All right then gang, so this is starting to take shape now. It's looking a lot better. But now what I'd like to do is add some kind of modal. And a modal is a bit like a pop-up. So if we have some kind of icon or button at the top of the app up here on the home screen, we click that, it throws up the modal, the pop-up. And in there, ultimately, we'll have a form where a user can type in a new review and then they can add that new review, which we'll then see over here. OK, so we're going to tackle the modal bit in this video. So it's going to be on the home screen. So let's go to the home screen, screens and home. OK, so inside here now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a modal component. Now, it's going to be inside the container. And what we can do is import this modal component up here. So let me say modal like so. And then we can just output the modal right here. OK, now the modal is controlled via a visible prop and that is going to be set to either true or false. Let me just set it to true to begin with. If it's true, it means the modal shows and it takes up the whole screen. If it's false, it doesn't show. That's how it works. Now, inside here, I'm going to do a view component and we'll give that a style as well. So style is equal to styles and we'll call it modal content we'll style that up later on but for now I'll just do a text widget and inside the text widget I'll just say hello from the modal smiley face okay so if I save this now we should see this modal over here on the screen and nothing else and we can see hello from the modal so that's taking up the whole space of the screen now if I set this to false over here like this then we're not going to see the modal because Remember, this controls whether the modal should show or not. Now, the thing is, when I change this and press save, it tried to update, but sometimes when the modal is open in device preview like this, it doesn't update. So what I tend to do is just press that square, end the process, then go and try and start this up again. I know it's a bit of a pain, but that's just how it works, okay? Now, when the modal visible prop is set to false, then it shouldn't show and it doesn't. Awesome. So what we really need now is a way to toggle this from true to false. And we need to store that in a bit of state because the user is going to control that by clicking on a button to open it and then a button to close it. So let's create a bit of state first of all to do that. So this bit of state is going to be called modal open. We'll say const modal open. And also we need a function. So set modal open and that is equal to use state and the initial value is going to be false because when a user first opens the app we don't want it to go bang in the face you know and show the modal that's not very good we want it to not show by default and then when a user clicks on the button at the top it's then going to throw up the modal okay so then we can add this variable down here which is controlling the modal now if i save now Obviously, it's not going to show because the initial value is false. Now, what we need is some kind of button which is going to toggle this. So, one to open it and one to close it. So, what I'm going to do is add material icons up here. In fact, we need to import it separately. So, let me go to another screen where we use an icon. In fact, let's go to the header and I'm just going to grab that import right here and copy it. And then I'll paste it up here as well. So we need material icons from at expo forward slash vector icons. Now down here below the modal, right? But above the list. So it's going to be above the list up here. I'm going to do a new material icons. Oops, if I can spell it, that is material icons components. Now it's going to have a number of different props inside this component. The first one is going to be the name, which will be add. And that's going to look like a little plus icon. Then we need a size prop and that will be equal to about 24, make it a little bit bigger than the default value. Then I'm going to add on a style prop and we'll style all these later on. By the way, we don't need a comma um, style prop and that is going to be styles. In fact, we're going to give this an object and do a bit of inline styling kind of later on. In fact, I'm going to leave the style off for now because it's a little more complex and I want to come back to this and explain it properly later. For now, let's also add an on press handler. Now we can do that to a material icon component. We can add an on press handler, which is quite nice. So when we press on it, something's going to happen. So when we press on this, what do we want to happen? Well, all we want to do is fire a function 
that is then going to use this function and set the value to model open to be true. So let's pass in true right here. And that's all there is to it. OK, so if I save this now and then see over here, we should see a little icon at the top. And when I click on that, it's going to open up the modal. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet because when I open the modal, there's going to be no way to close it. So instead, what I want to do is copy this and then I want to also add that inside the modal content over here so we can see another icon inside the modal itself. And instead of this being add, it's going to be close. And the size is going to be 24. This time on press, this needs to be changed back to false. OK, so let me save that now. And now we can see if this all works. So I'll try opening this first of all. We see it and closing it and it goes awesome. So this functionality is working. There is one thing I want to add to this modal over here, and that is the animation type prop. And that is going to be set equal to slide because at the minute it just kind of pops in with no animation. It would be nice for it to be a little softer. So I'm going to save that. It doesn't look great on this virtual device when we do that, but on an iOS, a real device, it looks much better. So if I click it now, it's a bit of a softer slide in. OK, so that looks better when you do it on a physical device. There's a little bit of lag over here. OK, but anyway, now we have that modal popping up and closing down. What I'd like to do is just style these things a little better. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a style to this one down here. So this style is going to have a style of modal toggle. So styles dot modal toggle like so. Now let's come down here. Oops, that should be styles dot modal toggle. Let's come down here and actually create a style sheet. We don't have one yet. Do we import it? Style sheet? Yes, we do. OK, so const styles is equal to style sheet dot create and we want the modal toggle style all right so what do we want this to do well first of all i'm going to say margin bottom is 10 pixels then i'm also going to say the border width is going to be one pixel then i'll say the border color will be kind of like a light gray. So F2, F2, F2. And then after that, we'll do some padding. And that can be 10 pixels. Also a border radius, just to make it a little softer. And that is going to be 10 as well. And then finally, I'm going to say align self. And we can use align self to bring this into the center by saying center. OK, so it brings it into the center of this row. So if I save now, hopefully that should look a little bit better. OK, cool. Looking a bit better. So if I click that, this still works. Now, I also want to add the same kind of styles to this thing as well. So let's go up here and add modal toggle. So style is equal to styles dot modal toggle like so. Save that and it should look kind of like the same. So let me open this and then we can see that's right at the top. Now, what I'd actually like to do is bring this one down a bit. So not this, that's fine, but I want to bring this one down a bit. Now, how can I do that? Because they both have the same style. Well, I can apply multiple different styles to this thing right here. And I do that by, first of all, cutting this and adding an object right here. Remember, at the end of the day, this is just an object of styles. And all we're going to do in here is destructure, first of all, styles.modal toggle. And then we can add another style to it. So I could destructure something else, styles. And then we could call this, for example, modal close, modal close like that. So then it's going to look at both of those styles and it's going to destructure all the properties and apply them to this object we pass through. OK, so let me come down here and add another style. And this is going to be modal close. And all I need to do is say the margin top is going to be about 20 pixels and the margin bottom is going to be zero because we applied a margin bottom here which we don't really need on this one and that's because the form later on is going to sort out its own margin so let me save that and see if this works 
Okay, same problem again. We had the modal open and we try to save it and refresh. Sometimes the Android device freaks out when you do this. So you have to close it and go to run this again. It is a bit of a pain, but it doesn't take long. So hopefully now this is all gonna look okay. So open it and then close it, cool. So this is looking a lot better. The last thing I'm gonna do is come up here and create this style, modal content, which is the view surrounding everything inside the modal. So let me add that on, modal content. And all I'm gonna do is apply flex property of one to this. So the modal content inside takes up the whole space available to it. It's not gonna have any visual impact on what we've done so far, but it is gonna help us in the future when we're adding more content to the modal. So now we have that modal, we can go ahead and add a form into this modal so that a user can add a new view. Now in the past, when we created forms and imports, we've just done that from scratch. But what I'm gonna do in the next video is introduce a third party library called Formic. And that really helps us to easily create forms which manages the state of the form for us. So what a user types into the fields and also helps us to validate the forms as well. So we're gonna talk about that in the next video.